All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Triple M here in today's video. I wanted to do an update to a video I did a couple months back. And this is a way to essentially connect your streaming device to your laptop. And where does this become handy? If you're on the go, if you're in the airport, you're at a hotel, you don't have a screen, your laptop can easily become your screen in just a couple steps. So I wanted to do this updated video because I know some things have changed with OBS. Some things has changed with the settings. So I wanted to do the quick run through. This shouldn't be too long. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So today I'm demonstrating using a Chromecast with Google TV, but you can do the same thing with a Fire TV stick, any streaming device that you want to use. I just prefer the smaller devices because they can be powered by the USB ports on the laptop. So what else do you need for this to work? Well, you need a streaming device, you need a laptop, and you'll need this 15 or $20 a video capture card really super inexpensive guys works really well and the latency is almost non-existent for the setup and let's quickly go over what i'm seeing on my laptop so on my laptop i do have my um i do have my chromecast with google tv and just to show you guys that everything works the audio works the video works in high quality let's go over to youtube The most delicious meals start here with produce fresh. We have a commercial there. That's very vertical. And I was not going to play the video just to avoid any copyrights, but let's play something from my channel. Hey, we're taking a look at the BeatBot AquaSense Pro. This is one of the best, if not the best, robotic wireless vacuum cleaner that I've seen. This has a lot of features built in, guys. So five in one clean, and this is gonna clean walls, floors, water line. It's also gonna clean the surface, which I haven't seen on a vacuum before, but essentially this acts as a skimmer, cleaning the top of your pool, getting all the debris, getting all the leaves. And last but not least, this also has a water clarification system, which I'll cover here. All right, so again, pretty straightforward. Uh, everything works as it would on your uh, TV, if you have it on the, a big screen, a projector, go to work. And the cool thing about this setup is that everything here is being powered by your laptop. So as far as this particular setup, all I needed was two USB ports. So one USB port is powering the Chromecast with Google TV and the other USB port is where I have HDMI capture card plugged in. So both devices using laptop batteries. So, so there's no need for external power. As far as the other thing that you're gonna need, you are gonna need OBS Studio. So let me um, pull that up so you can see it. So OBS Studio, it is gonna be a free application. I'll put a link where you can go ahead and grab it. Also, I'll put a link to the video capture card in the description, as well as uh, Chromecast or the Fi TV stick or whatever your preferred streaming device is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe OBS Studios all the way. So uh, when I launch OBS, you shouldn't see anything. And, and I'm going to show you the settings that you need to get this up and working. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a follow-up video for Mac. Because I know that there's some differences with Mac and PC. So I'll probably do a separate video if there's a need for it. So go ahead and launch OBS Studio. I do have my devices plugged in. So the HDMI capture card and one USB port. And the Chromecast with Google TV in the other USB port. Once you launch OBS for the first time, it's going to look like this. What you want to do is you want to go right here on the sources. You want to click add. And what you want to add is a video capture device. So click on it. It's going to be the one with the camera icon video capture device. Click on that. All right. You can give it a name if you want. You can put HDMI video capture card, whatever. I'm just going to leave mine as is video capture card click OK and the video capture card is going to be HDMI so no need to go out and get drivers it should be plug and play I didn't have to do any of this by the way so once you get here you're going to hit the drop down you're going to see maybe a couple options so the first one for me is going to be my webcam but the second one where it says USB video that's the video capture card you're going to go ahead and select it and when you select it, you should now start seeing a video source. All right. So 
So now I do have this play. You can see latency is almost non-existent, which really is good just considering what we're doing here. You can see as soon as I click, this moves around. So pretty cool. So the other part of this is how do I get my audio to work? So once you get to this part, if you try to play anything, let me go back to YouTube. Once you get to this point, if you try to play anything, you will not receive any audio. So go to YouTube. You see there's no audio there. There should be audio coming out of that. If I skip that, still nothing. But you can see in the sources right here, you can see that it is receiving input. So that's the next part that we have to do. This should be step two of three to getting the full screen and getting your Five TV or your Android TV or your Google TV on your laptop. So now we're just gonna go in the audio mixing area or audio mixer area. Should be two gear icons at the bottom. Click on it and you should see those devices. So you see desktop audio, you see mic audio, but you also see video capture device. And what you wanna do is scroll all the way to the right. It should, by default, have it as monitor off. What you wanna do is click down. You do have two options here that will work. Both options, monitor on only, mute on capture and monitor and output are on. So if I click on any one of these, it should work, so. Has two legs that pretty much just slides and just extend in the surface area. Uh, that way you can just quickly dock the robot on top, slide those in, plug it in, and you're all set. All right, so here's a quick uh, look at- All right, let me go ahead and pause it. So both of those options work. I don't tell the difference, but I think it has to do something if you want to pass the audio through. If you're in the comment section, you know what both options mean, just let me know. Drop it in the comments so we can help everyone out. So the next step is to get this full screen, and this is the easiest step, guys. Go over here, I'm gonna right click or double click. And what you wanna do is go to full screen. Click full screen, then slide over to your display. And now this is all full screen. That charging stand should look like once now you're all done. set, go to your device. Everything works as it should. And you're all set, super simple setup. Uh, hopefully this helps someone because I receive a couple questions. And like I said, if you want me to do a follow up on the Mac, let me know in the comment section. I'll go ahead and do that. But easy way to get your streaming device on your laptop. And like I said, in some circumstances, you just don't have a screen that you can use. You can't get to those sources on your laptop, whatever the case is. But this is definitely a good hack to try in 2025. Let me know in the comment section if you're going to try this out. Let me know if you have any additional questions. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.